circles, area formula. What are they? 2D objects where each point is the same distance from the center. Why? Leads to the study of geometry. Interesting fact. Ducks are omnivores. They feed on aquatic plants, small fish, insects, worms, grubs, and more. Now, here are the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Now, let's read the steps. Step one, find the radius. Step two, use the formula. Now, let's read the question. Find the area of the circle. Before we begin, our first step is to write down the area formula for circles, and that formula is pi r squared. Or as we can see on the screen, pi times r squared, where r is the radius. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the circle, and they gave us the measurement 7 centimeters. And that measurement represents the radius because the line above it starts at the center and goes to the edge. Now we can go ahead and substitute that into the formula, specifically for the letter r, and we get pi times 7 squared. We have put parentheses around the number because it will help with the next steps. And our next step is to square that number 7. 7 squared is 49 because 49 is the result of 7 times 7. Now we have pi times 49. Our next step is to flip flop those numbers. And now we can write it as 49 pi. And the reason why we do that is because we write whole numbers first, then a rational number second. Since 49 is a whole number, it goes first. Since pi is irrational, it goes second. And our next step is to go ahead and add the units, and our units are centimeters squared, since we're dealing with area. Our next step is to convert that number into a decimal. In order to do that, we need to multiply the 49 and pi. And since pi is 3.14, we can multiply 49 times 3.14, and the result of that is 153 and 94 hundredths. And that number has been rounded to the nearest hundredth, and we've added our units centimeters squared. Now we have two different ways to represent the area of a circle with a radius of 7 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and take a look at example 2. So, once again, our first step before we begin write down the area formula for circles, and once again that is pi times radius squared. Now we can take a look at the circle that gave us the measurement 12 centimeters. And in this case, that measurement represents the diameter because the line above it starts on the edge, goes through the center, and continues to the opposite side. And now we know that is 12 centimeters is the diameter. So we can go ahead and take a look at the top right of the screen where we have the formula for radius and that formula is radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. And the reason why we need to find the radius is because the formula pi r squared does not have a d, it has an r. And so we write down the radius formula and now we can go ahead and substitute 12 centimeters in for the diameter and now we have 12 centimeters divided by 2 and 12 centimeters divided by 2 is 6 centimeters. We now have our radius. We can go ahead and substitute that into the formula, specifically for the letter R. So now we have pi times 6 squared. Once again, we put the number in parentheses to help with the next steps. And the next step is to square that number 6. And 6 squared is 36, because 6 times 6 is 36. And now we have pi times 36. Our next step is to go ahead and flip those numbers pi and 36 and write it as 36 pi. Because once again, you write the whole number first and the irrational number second. And since 36 is a whole number, it goes first. And since pi is irrational, it goes second. Our next step is to go ahead and add our units and our units, once again, are centimeters squared. And now we're going to convert that number into a decimal. In order to do that, we need to multiply 36 and pi since pi is 3.14, we multiply 36 times 3.14, and the result of that is 113 and 10 hundredths. And once again, that number has been rounded to the nearest hundredth. We have our unit centimeters squared. So now we have two ways to represent the area of a circle with a radius of 6 centimeters. Now, 
Let's go ahead and take a look at example three. Let's read the question because it is a little bit different. Find the radius of the circle given the area is 49 pi meters squared. A little bit different since we're trying to find the radius and not the area. So we're kind of working backwards. So let's read the steps. Step one, use the formula. Step two, find the radius. So definitely using the formula. Let's write it down. And once again, the, the area formula for circles is pi times radius squared. So now we substitute 49 pi into the formula, specifically the left-hand side since that's the area of a circle. And we set that equal to pi times radius squared. And now we can go ahead and solve for the letter R. And right now we have R squared, but we have pi on that side as well. And since it says pi times, we need to do the inverse of times, and that is divide. So we're going to divide the right-hand side by pi, and pi divided by pi is 1. So those numbers cancel. Since we did it to the right-hand side, we now need to do it to the left-hand side. And we're going to divide the left side by pi. Pi divided by pi is 1. Those numbers cancel. So let's write down what we have so far. We have 49 is equal to r squared. Since we have r squared and not r, we need to get rid of that squared. In order to do that, we do the inverse of that, and that is square root. So now we can go ahead and take the square root of a square. And when that happens, you're just left with the number. And in this case, it is r. And those two operations cancel. Now we need to do the square root on the left side since we did it on the right side. So now we take the square root of 49. And the square root of 49 is plus or minus 7 or 7 and negative 7. Now, in this case, we have two answers, but one of them doesn't work. And that is negative 7 because you can't have a negative measurement. And so now we know the radius is 7 meters when you have an area of 49 pi. Now, we're done with example 3. Now let's go ahead and move on to example 4. Let's read the question. Find the diameter of the circle given the area 64 pi centimeters squared. Now this example is like example 3 where we've been given the area and we need to work backwards to find the radius or the diameter. So once again, the step that we need to do before we even start is write down the area formula for circles. And once again, that is pi times radius squared. So we don't know the radius, but we do know the area of a circle. So we're going to substitute 64 pi for the left-hand side and bring down the pi times radius squared. And now we're going to go ahead and solve for the letter r. And since r is on the right-hand side, we need to start moving things to the opposite side. And right now we have pi times, and then we need to do the inverse of times, and that is divide. So we're going to divide the right-hand side by pi. Pi divided by pi is 1. Those numbers cancel, and now we need to do it to the left-hand side since we did it to the right-hand side. Pi divided by pi is 1. So those numbers cancel, and now let's write down what we have so far. We have 64 is equal to r squared. We're looking for r and not r squared, so we need to do the inverse of squared, and that is square root. So when we take the square root of a square, those operations cancel, and you're just left with the variable or the number, and in this case, it is r. Since we took the square root on the right-hand side, we now need to take the square root on the left-hand side. The square root of 64 is plus or minus 8, or 8 and negative 8 and once again one of these numbers doesn't work because we can't have a negative measurement so we can go ahead and cancel negative 8 so now we know that the radius is 8 centimeters the question asks for the diameter we have one more step and let's write down the formula for a radius and radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 let's substitute what we know we know the radius is 8 centimeters and we can set that equal to diameter divided by 2. So what number divided by 2 gives us 8 and that is 16. And so now we know that the diameter is 16 centimeters. If that doesn't work, you can always multiply the radius by 2 so we get 8 times 2 and that also gives us 16. So we know that the diameter is 16 centimeters when the area is 64 pi centimeters squared. 
Now it is your turn to go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer these questions and I will show you the answers in three, two, and one. If you got them correct, well done. If not, there's always tomorrow.